What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Let's jump right into it. Um, start painting some stuff here. I guess I can fit more of my palette on here today. Try to anyway. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? Friday evening here, where I am, where I am at. I don't know why. What's going on, Jeremy? Hey, Yemi, what's happening? Thanks, everybody, tuning in. All right, there we go. Now we're getting some more viewers. Everybody's a little, I was late yesterday and everybody was early. I'm early today, everybody's late. What's happening? What's going on? So check it out. Just mixing up some color here. It's the one part of the palette you guys can't see. There we go. How's that? That's probably better, I guess. I can paint like this. So, I don't know. I guess I'll just start with the background. I didn't feel like squeezing out any new gouache, so uh, I just kind of sprayed a lot of water on there, tried to get, get as moist as I could to get thicker paint. So I think I'll just get the dark of the background in first. Might as well just go really dark with it. Phoenix, what's happening? Oh, nobody's here, man. What's going on? It's Friday, so everybody everybody uh, dips out or what? What's going on uh, in Theo, Bruce, Mary? What's happening? Just waiting for everybody to... Usually I got like double the people by now, but nobody's tuning in, so... Well, it doesn't matter. I'll paint anyway. So the name of the game today... is Hard Edges. I'm gonna try to paint this with all hard edges. Triforce, Ashley, Essie, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in. <clears throat> Work soon, oh, that's a bummer. But such is life, I guess. I'm working right now. After working today at work. Yeah, so today, <clears throat> I'm trying to do all, all hard edges. Yesterday, the watercolor was very, very soft, which is cool. I like that. It was very textured and soft and everything. So I figured today I will challenge myself. and try to do all hard edges with this. And uh, <clears throat> it's nice because gouache like naturally will give you hard edges. So I don't really have to try very hard. The only problem is once we get into some softness here is how am I gonna make those transitions? So that's really the thing I'm gonna play around with today is even though all the edges are gonna be hard, how do you get the illusion of, you know, changing form and creating form with all hard edges? So that's what I'm going to try to explore. That's what I'm going to hopefully explore today. So I am mixing some brown burnt sienna into this background just to warm it up a little bit. I don't even know if it's really visible. It's so dark, it's hard to see, but uh, school was long today, yeah. School, when isn't school long? <laughs> Especially on a Friday, I mean, for sure. Sorry to hear that, Triforce.
But at least it's the weekend now. Right? Am I right? Of course. Okay, boom. Background painting is done. See you guys on the next one next week. Hope you enjoyed this one. Joyce, what's happening? Enrique, encrypted, 01001. You're new, wow. You're like a, you were just born. You're a baby from the code of the internet, encrypted, 01001. What's the difference between watercolor and what you're using today? Uh, gouache is much different. Uh, it's hard. It's harder to be reactive. Well, it's re it reactivates with water. Uh, is the main thing. Also, that it's it's more opaque. Uh, it's 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 kind of like opaque watercolor, but you can also use it. You can use it very thickly from the tube if you want. Um, I'm using a bunch of different brands. Maritza, Maritza. Uh, Windsor Newton, Da Vinci gouache, Windsor Newton gouache, and M. Graham gouache. So it's a whole bunch of different brands. Brands it doesn't really matter. Just get something good, you know. <clears throat> um, thanks, Cubs win. I appreciate that. They said uh, you need to, you guys need to buy Brandon's art. Got the painting of my pups, and it is awesome. Yeah, I appreciate that. Much appreciated. Glad you got it. Glad it's all. Good. What type of brush is what I need for gouache? Uh, I mean, any kind, any kind. Uh, or, you know, I normally use like a flat brush with gouache, <clears throat> but you can use round brush, you can use synthetics. Normally, I don't know if bristle brushes are really used that much. Normally it's like synthetic brushes, but, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, I mean. It's art, so you're open to do whatever you want. Use a toothbrush if you want. However you want to put it down on the paper, you know what I mean? It's up to you. Yeah, so with gouache, you can use, um, well, you can do this with watercolor too, but with gouache, you can mix in white to it. It gets, you can have more opaque colors for those out there that is wondering about gouache. It's just like opaque watercolor that can be used more opaquely, duh, and uh, more thickly from the tube. If I, I could have squeezed out some new gouache today, um, which maybe I might, because um, I, I like using it a bit thicker rather than very thinly. But it doesn't really matter to be honest. Um, but yeah, it can be, it does get reactivated with water. So if you have to go over another spot, it's gonna reactivate what's already on the paper usually unless you go over it thicker with less water. So in these first stages, sometimes I do like, I'll use more water in the mixtures. And then when I go and layer on top, I get again, like for highlights and just other variations, I will, uh, I usually use it a bit thicker so there's less water and that way, less chance of it being reactivated where I don't really want it to be. But I don't use gouache very much. Uh, I'm kind of just using it on Fridays now, at least for this Friday and, and last Friday, just because uh, it's something different. And it's a little more relaxing than watercolor because it's not as time sensitive. You know, I don't have to sit here and hurry up with like washes and make sure something dries or doesn't dry. Uh, Cause I can always repaint over something cause it's opaque. So it's it's a lot it's a lot more simple to use. But I'm just gonna paint everything in flatly first. Get like an overall overall colors here. Overall. Man, it's really hard to see that difference, huh guys? Everything I'm using is pretty dark here, but just wanted to get the darks in first so now I can compare the skin tone to everything else, so that's a little helpful. Um, it was so hard to find Sakura microns in my area. 
Yeah, I mean, you can use any kind of pin, whatever good pins they have. It doesn't have to be a certain brand. Have you ever thought of using Posca paint pens? Uh, I thought about it. I have a white one, but um, I've never really, I haven't, don't have much experience with them, to be honest. Bro and chat, just so y'all know. Oh, it's all good. Not worried. No worries. <clears throat> is gouache fairly new paint technique compared to watercolor? I'm not 100% sure, honestly. I know back in the day, I saw this at a... Um, I mentioned this last week, I believe, but I'll say it again because it's all good. Um, I saw a lot of the a lot of the old Disney backdrops in the movies and illustrations. Uh, I saw like some illustrations from Fantasia, the originals. And they were in gouache, believe it or not. And they were super smooth, man. Super, I don't know how they got it to look so smooth, so nice. And they were small too, you know, like eight, eight by 10, nine by 12, these small illustrations. Those were done in gouache. There's a whole bunch of like Fantasia, Mickey Mouse, like all these old Disney illustrations and backdrops for other Disney movies were done in gouache. So, interesting. So maybe, maybe it's slightly newer than watercolor, but to be honest, I don't know the history of it, uh, if I'm being completely honest, which I am. So I'm trying to stick to like a Zorn type of palette, very limit. I mean, I'm already very limited in my palette, but you know, for the skin tones, yellow ochre, a little bit of, I don't have cadmium red, but I have alizarin permanent. So I'll use that as my red and I'll uh, put a little bit of black into it. Ivory black, see if we can get like a nice skin tone there, at least for the shadows for right now. He has a very pink kind of complexion, so I definitely wanna warm it up. So let's see what this looks like. That's pretty good actually, it's pretty close. So we'll put this down for now and see uh, what we get out of it. Uh, what's going on, Nathan? Um, Yeah, it makes sense, Nathan. Definitely makes sense. Yeah, in the 20s, I guess. All right. Well, I, I know that um, in some of Sargent's watercolors, he actually, in the books I have, it says he used some of the paintings or watercolor plus body color, which is like he used a, a strong white sometimes. Um, so I don't know if he was using gouache in those. I'm not sure what the body color you know, some kind of thicker, opaque paint. I'm not sure if that was some kind of gouache or just some kind of other color. Um, I don't know what body color, but he did the, the some of those watercolors before the 20s, so maybe they had some kind of hybrid or just some kind of different paint. I'm not sure what body paint actually is. Um, not body paint, like paint the paint on your body, like heavy body, like, Thicker paint is what it stands for. Um, so yeah, I'm not 100% sure what that is. <clears throat> or we could all just argue in the chat about when it came about. Somebody just Google it. <laughs> When was gouache available? I mean, there's other, I mean, of course, there's other kinds of paint, tempura, casein, like all that kind of stuff. They have, what's the, uh, what's the other one called? Egg tempura, yeah, tempura. Is gouache poster or tempura, tempura paint? I have no idea. I really have no idea. 
I'm not a master. I, I'm, I'm not a historian of like what this paint is or what it. I have no idea. I just use it and paint with it, and it's fun. So that's about it. That's all I know. Or sometimes it's fun. It's not always fun. There's a nice color skin tone. I'll probably have to, I should have made it darker. Let's darken it up with more pigment, basically, and more ivory black. I'll have to wait. Well, the ear should actually be a little more red. Let's just get some red in there. Let's go bold. I'm being bold today. We're doing only, for anybody, all the new folks showing up, I'm trying to do only hard edges today. No softening. So the way I'm going to try to do transitions is by using tones of color. That's the idea anyway. We'll see if I can pull it off. I don't really ever paint like this, so that's why I'm doing it. Because yesterday I did like very soft painting. So today I want to try to do something different. Try to mix it up a little bit. So I've never really done something where it's like all hard edges. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And luckily with gouache, it's very easy to get, you naturally get hard edges. So Body paint is gouache. Okay. Well, so there you go. Sergeant used gouache before the 20s, apparently. But maybe it became popular in the 20s or something. Who knows? All I know is I'm using it today. And that's all I care about. Oh, I see what you're saying, Cubs win. Watercolors don't seem to have used it long. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think a lot of watercolorists are very, like, uh, purists, you know? They don't like mixing in other kinds of stuff to it. Which I respect. I kind of do the same thing. I, I, I used to mix gouache in a little bit when I first started. Like, I have white on my palette, white gouache, but... And I realized I never use it, I don't need it. So I stopped doing that kind of. I'm gonna lighten some of this up for now. I know I'm gonna have to come back and lighten all this up anyway. I'm just putting down the first kind of tones. But I want to try to get all hard edges. It's not usually something you try to get, but that's what I'm going, I'm trying it. It's what I want. I want this to, I want this guy to look like that mannequin I've been painting this whole week. clean my brush off. I still need to paint more areas. Might as well paint over his beard. I'll just darken that. Have you tried drawing portraits in pen and ink? Yes, I have. 
I did one a few weeks ago, or like a month ago. And uh, I did some studying this week. I didn't technically do a human portrait, I did like studies of planes and stuff, but yeah, I'll probably do more in the future, of course. Hard edges, hard edges. <clears throat> Trying to remind myself of the challenge today. So gouache is pretty old, I guess, huh? Yeah, it's kind of going to look like paint by numbers for a while. Maybe the whole time. Have I ever played an instrument? Yeah, I used to play... I play guitar, I haven't played it in a while. Um, and I play piano here and there. I only know like very, very little songs on piano right now. I'm learning uh, Moonlight Sonata. The, uh, I think it's the first movement. I don't know, the sad, the sad, slow one. It's the one I'm learning, so. I'm a little more than halfway through learning it. It's taken me a few months, but I haven't really tried to learn any new parts of it lately. Just been practicing what I do know. Yeah, I played play guitar. Um, I used to have a drum set, an electric drum set that I played. So I'm just trying to be aware of like separation of shadow and light since uh, I don't really have to paint in a watercolor manner. I don't have to just, <clears throat> you know, I don't have to do a wash of light over anything. I can just go straight into it. There's one little white spot, light spot of light there, so I want to keep that because I want to paint that in light soon. So. This is a stage where most people give up at this stage. A lot of most beginners. You know, if I was painting this like eight or nine years ago, I would have been panicking right now, I would have been giving up. But I just started this painting 24 minutes ago. So there's no way it's gonna be close to done yet. It's only like one third of the way done. Haven't even blocked in the whole canvas yet. So, what's going on? Designs by CAD Pro. What's happening? So yeah, most people most people just don't take their paintings far enough. They just they give up, you know. Well, you've been playing the uh, live stream number one hundred. Uh, it's just gonna be a critique. Yeah, I don't really know anything special to do, to be honest. 
I don't really have any ideas. I'm not very creative when it comes to that kind of stuff. But uh, people have already sent me their stuff for critiques, so it's going to be a critique. Um, been playing the clarinet for almost four years. Wow, that's pretty cool. You got I'm sure you're pretty good by now. That's awesome. I played I played guitar for many years now, and I'm not that good. I'm not that good. <laughs> I could technically, technically I've been playing guitar for, since I was in high school, like 10 years, 11 years now, but just didn't practice, I never practiced, uh, and a lot of the stuff I tried playing when I was younger, when I first started, was very difficult, very fast, heavy metal and stuff, and you know, I was, I was, I could technically, I could play a lot of technical stuff like that, really fast riffs and technical stuff. But then, I was never good at like doing the simple, basic like chord strumming and chords. So that's kind of what I've been learning uh, this year a lot recently. It's like playing different chords on the guitar and stuff. It's funny how you can learn like super hard stuff and then you can't even play the, uh, you know, the most basic, simple things. Funny how that works sometimes. Okay. Uh, no streams next week. Well, I usually, I usually, if there are going to be, I usually schedule them on the weekend, like Sunday. So I'm not sure yet. Uh, I might have. Uh, I might not be able to stream at least part of the week next week, like the, the end of next week, I might not be able to stream. Um, so we'll see. But yeah, I normally schedule them on the weekend because during the week, I don't have time to schedule for next week. I barely have time on the weekends to schedule all of them. Like this past weekend, I scheduled all these like Sunday night, last minute, you know. And I got so much stuff to always work on with my website, shipping paintings out, working on other paintings and social media and planning a bunch of other stuff that I'm actually trying to put together and do. It's a lot of stuff. And to do these live streams every day during the week, it's it's very challenging sometimes. I don't know why I can't get this color to be darker. Why can't I get this color to be dark? More brown. And dark. <clears throat> Do you ever take time to relax? Yeah, something like Saturday. Although normally, like Saturdays and Sundays, I'll go and do plain air. So I'll make a video on the weekend, plain air video. But I haven't been able to do that in a few weeks because of the air quality. So yeah, sometimes I don't ever really relax. <clears throat> you know, usually in the evenings after these live streams, I'll make dinner and relax and stuff then. But... That's about it. Can't even see the hairline here, so we'll just make it dark. <clears throat> when did you have first internet? In art, I'm not sure what you mean by that, Moonchild. What planner are you doing this weekend, Brandon? Well, I don't know if I'm doing anything because the air quality is so bad. It's actually better right now. It's actually good. We actually have good air quality right now, but uh, you never know. Tomorrow could be horrible. 
so I literally haven't really gone out in like for leisure in a month I've just been stuck inside because it's just smoky outside can't really go anywhere or do anything I literally only go out to do grocery shopping or just ship out paintings so it's been uh, it kind of sucks it's not very fun because I would like to go out to places of nature and do stuff oh boy alright I'm already starting to give up on this painting I was just talking about not giving up here I am giving up okay let's keep going I just want all this to be filled in but I don't know about this hard edge thing I'm gonna try I'm gonna try I definitely need to fix some of the values of course but let me block I'm gonna block everything in first I'm probably missing a bunch of questions I know. Uh, <clears throat> it's not too late to send a piece for a critique, Mary. Um, you can send one. You can send one in to my uh, email info at shaferfineart.com. Yeah, the critique's not till episode 100. This is live stream 98, so you got plenty of time, and you have the whole weekend. Yep, sounds good, Nathan. Look forward to that. Oh, first interest in art. Okay. Uh, when I was a kid, like four or five years old, that's when I started drawing and stuff. Have you ever made fan art? Nope, not really. I mean, technically, when I was a kid, you know, I drew, like, cartoons and stuff. But, uh, no. Well, I mean, I, I made a portrait of uh, the singer Aurora. I don't know if that's fan art, not really. It's just kind of like a portrait of her. But uh, maybe that's considered fan art. I don't know. No worries, Mary. It's all good. Yeah, there's plenty of time to send stuff in. <clears throat> hard edges, hard edges. I want hard edges. So definitely the light on his face needs to be lighter, needs to be warmer. It's way too cool, way too dark. But not there yet, not there yet. We're getting there, but we're not there yet. Um, slowly making progress on this one. I think I need to wet some of these colors again. You are really neat with the way you paint with your brush. Yeah, sometimes. Have you ever re redrawn, painted original characters from your childhood? Uh, no, because I don't have any of the drawings from my childhood. My mom just found them like two days ago, three days ago. I literally haven't seen most of the stuff in like 20 years. 15 to 20 years I haven't seen all the stuff, but I'm going to get them back uh, very soon. So that's good news. 
So, no, I haven't, to be honest. But I, I don't know if I ever made original characters. I guess I'll have to find out. You know, I didn't draw a whole bunch of original stuff or anything. But hopefully I'll show some of it on my YouTube so you guys can see uh, where I started out with my drawing abilities and where and how I've gotten to where I am now. Might give you guys some hope because <laughs> there's so many people that think they can't do it. But it's not like I was that great when I was a kid. Uh, Yes, I saw that Candy Williams. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, it'd be nice to look at that on the critique. It'd be really cool. Yeah, it came out really well, I think. Okay, hmm, the eyes. What do we do with the eyes? Oh, there's white of the eyes, which is not really white. It's more like a gray. So let's try to do that. See if we can get that right. That looks about right, I think, for now. It's very similar to skin tone, so it's pretty much what we want. Just a bit cooler, grayer. Yeah, gouache always dries darker, so I feel I'm struggling today with that, but it's all right, especially when I'm not using it like thick out of the tube. I think it dries a bit darker when you thin it down. The lights dry darker and the darks dry lighter, so it's very tricky. But we do have a clear separation of light and shadow here, so that's good. I'm, I'm 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 good with that at least. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly, Mary. I agree. Keep it light. Keep it light. Um. Yeah, we don't want to get into the dark. You know what I'm saying? Keep it light. <laughs> uh, let's leave the darkness out in the world. Let everybody else deal with that. We'll be just fine over here. Playing in the art box. You know what I'm saying? Oh, those are some bad looking eyes. I'll try to fix them. <laughs> this looks like modern art. Most modern artists would just call this done, right? Like go put it in a museum. Oh, it's done. It's modern art. I'm going to fix all that. I need a smaller brush is the problem. I have a smaller one here. So, where's it at? Of course I lost it. Where is that? Here we go. Here we go. A small thing. This is what I need to fix some of these. Fix these problems here. Fix these problems, right? So, try to keep the edges sharp, of course. Not trying to cheat.
Yeah, I've lost the eyelids. Yep, you're right. I know. I'm getting there. Getting there. Don't worry. I lost a lot of stuff. <laughs> I lost this nostril over here. We don't have this in the mouth. We don't have... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. But uh, that's okay. We'll get it back. We'll get it back. Eyelids, those are really small, so I'm not worried about them right now. That's a small shape, so I want to focus on medium shapes right now. Because I got all the big shapes blocked in. And a few of the smaller shapes, but... Now I want to focus on medium shapes and try to get this, get the, get the light, the sense of light back in this. So that's what I'm going to focus on right now. So we're going to need some white. Let's add more water here to this. Try to get some thicker paint. All right, we got got a critique. Somebody sent in a critique, so that's cool. Um, yellow ochre, and it's gonna dry darker, so I gotta remember that. And we're gonna warm it up, keep it warm. It does have a pinker complexion, so I'll try to. Maybe keep it on that side, but let's see. Let's see if we can get this lighter still. I might need to squeeze some white out of the tube just to get a bit thicker. But we'll see if this works. We'll see if this works. We'll put this down. Wow, see how light that looks? It's going to dry much darker, I imagine. I hope it's going to dry dark. But it's all right, even if it doesn't, we'll just paint over it again, right? I mean, it's all we do, it's all we do here. So what's gonna be important eventually, I mean, they're already important, are the transitions. Transitions between shadow and light. So that's where I'm really gonna be able to show the the warmth of the light. So something like this, get it a little warmer. It's gonna have to be darker though, but. Yeah, I wonder how much, how dark this is gonna dry. Didn't look like it's drying that much darker at all, but it's okay. I'm gonna keep going with it. We'll keep going. No, actually, uh, Lane, I am a fan of, I'm a real big fan of dry brush techniques uh, with gouache, actually. Um, but for this one, I'm actually challenging myself because normally I would go to texture and softness with something like this. So today I'm challenging myself to do only hard edges. I'll show you real quick, actually, um, if I can find them. Actually, give me like 10 seconds in the other room. I have a, I have a really dry brushed gouache painting that I really love. I'll show you real quick. So this is normally, you know, you see the texture up here, dry brushing. Like this is one of my favorite pieces I've done, like a river with a little creek with uh, in the forest. Very abstract, very, you know, textury, dry brushy. So I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to force myself to like stay hard edged on this, and use only colors as transitions. 
So it's very, it's very challenging and that's why I'm doing it because yesterday I did that watercolor portrait I did. I mean, this is kind of naturally what I go to, like softness, texture, and softness. So today I'm, try I'm trying to like force myself to change it up a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work. I have no idea what this is gonna look like, but I'm just gonna do my best here and try to just, I know Cubs win had a question. I saw that one. I don't want to forget it. Just give me one second here. I'm trying to get more of this painting in because this is this is going to take a little while. So I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time on this. But I can tell this one's going to this one's going to take me a little while. Um. <clears throat> yeah, practice makes progress, not perfect. Nothing's perfect. But, um, mm, Cubs win. Are the concepts of value and temperature things you have to memorize to identify quickly? Um, you know, it's, it's not like, I wouldn't call it memorizing, but I guess kind of. I wouldn't, I don't really see it as memorizing. I see it as, it's stuff that, I guess in the beginning you do have to memorize it. Uh, it's it's more it's less memorization though it's more of once you do enough paintings then you start recognizing these values in your paintings you know it's it's more of like repetition and then it becomes second nature rather than memorization if that makes sense hopefully so in the beginning you do kind of have to memorize some of the concepts and uh, so that you have an understanding of everything. And, uh, but the more and more you keep doing it, keep applying it, keep applying it, it's kind of like learning a language or something. The more you keep using the words, keep using stuff, it becomes a part of what, it just becomes a part of, it's not even something you have to memorize. It's something that's just there, you know? So that's how I see it. And color temperature, it's relative, you know, it's relative. You know, you could say this is cooler than this, or this is warmer than that. You know, you can compare two reds and one could be warmer, one's cooler, but both of those reds compared to a blue are gonna be warm. So it's all relative stuff, you know. It's just, um, same thing with value, you know. This is, this is dark, like this value you could say is dark, but then compared, uh, or you could say this value is dark, but compared to this, it's light. So it all depends on what you're comparing to, of course. It's all relative stuff. I hope that answered your question, Cubs win. So he's still looking pretty flat right now, which is okay. It's okay. We're trying to carve him, trying to carve this guy out of wood basically with paint. You know what I mean? Sculpt him, trying to sculpt him into life. And I'm still battling, I'm still putting lights and darks on. So once I have more of this light in here, I can, uh, I'll start doing transition tones between the lights and the darks or within the lights and then within the darks and then in between a bit. And then that will help to, um, I think bring this thing, you know, a little more three dimensional. <clears throat> Yeah, it takes it takes a lot of time, Cubs win. It takes a lot of time, but you you'll get there. You, know, you just stick with it. You definitely just stick with it. Keep going, and uh, you'll you'll get it. Something in your brain will eventually click, and I'm sure things have probably already started to click that you don't even realize. You know, that's the cool part. Is like a lot of it happens without you even knowing. It just it ends up just happening. One day you wake up and you're like, oh wow, I didn't even really 
with that one painting, I didn't even really think about the values or think about this, but it came together. You know, it all just takes time and repetition. We're starting to get little variations here already, which is nice. Just a little bit darker paint in there. And it's probably gonna dry down a bit darker, so that's good, that's kind of what I want. Uh, yeah, I really love doing the dry brushing and stuff. Um, Glad to hear, Amanda. Glad you made it home safely. Muscle memory, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's basically like muscle memory, but with your with your mind. Or with your eyes, you know. Being able to recognize all these differences and stuff. And is that too light for the ear? It might be too light. I might need to just warm it up. Let's just warm it up. And Darken it a bit. Warm it up again. There we go. Maybe that's a little warmer still. It still looks pretty light, but it's very dark, so I think it'll dry darker. And I just want it just want it to be warm back there in that ear. I know it looks really light to you guys when I first put it down, but it's because it's wet and you're getting like a getting a uh, glare on some of these marks because they're still wet. Okay, 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 okay. You can see how cool his lips look now rather than warm. So I need to try and fix that. Let's see, is this lighter or darker? It's pretty much the same value. Um, I think I'm, let's make these eyelids a bit lighter. I know I said I didn't want to do the eyelids earlier because it's too soon, but oh well, changed my mind. Yeah, and I definitely need more reflected light in the shadow as well. So yeah, I mean, there's more light on his hair. There's more light over here. So there's there's a lot more to add still. We're just we're just we're going we're taking it a little slow today. Going a little slow, taking our time. Like I said, I haven't done many portraits or anything, especially with gouache. So this is it's all study. I'm all studying right now. I'm learning with you guys as you're watching this. Every piece is a learning experience. And I haven't quite done gouache. Last week was the first time I did gouache in a year. So this is my second piece in one year. My second piece this year. And the last time I did it was this time last year. So there's gotta be, gotta be easy on me. You know, give me, give me time to bring this thing together. And I've never done something that's all, all hard edge like this, so. Definitely trying to figure that out as well. Trying to keep the edges hard. Even though it goes against. What I'm, it goes against what I'm, what I wanna do. Um, which is like dry brush and soften these edges. But the softening comes in by transitioning the va the, uh, the edges there into, from light to shadow. That's what I'm 
trying to focus on I'm trying to learn how to what why is it buffering come on dude well, I have zero dropped frames so I don't know what YouTube's acting up again sorry folks Hope it's not too bad. So see now, the nose, we're putting this transition tone on the nose. Just as a little bit of warmth. I could probably even warm it up more. Okay, not buffering for you. Well, it says it on, it says it on my side. Error, error, YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. It's a lie. They're getting plenty. Everything's good. Eh, I guess it's buffering on my end. <laughs> I don't know. That's bizarre. But glad to hear it's glad to hear it's fine then. I'm happy about that. And normally the hairline where the hair meets the Skin, it's usually very hot under there, very warm. And I've run out of burnt sienna. I think I need to squeeze some more burnt sienna. There we go, because I need, need that brown. Yeah, it must be, uh, something's wrong with the stupid uh, this streaming dashboard on YouTube. It always gives me errors and stuff, but yeah, glad you guys are getting a good experience at least. It's not a good experience on my end. I can't watch myself, so. Oh well, cool. Oh boy, well, let's really hope I can pull this one off, guys. I'm, 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 I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried, to be honest. But I, I know you guys can help me through this thing. I know we're going to do it together. We got this. All right. But normally, the hairline, it's very warm. Most people miss that. Even when you're doing oil paintings, any kind of painting, doesn't matter. Color pencil, whatever. The hairline, it's very warm. Warm, warm tone. I feel like I need to squeeze out some more white too. That white just dries up so quick. Where did my, uh, is this it? Oh, it? Must be it. It might dry a little too dark now that I'm looking at it, but we can, we'll transition, we'll transition from light to dark again, but there's just a bit of shadowing on us. Like those different planes of the head. So these are, this is the side of his head there. So that's a different plane. It's not catching the, the same light as the front of the face. So that's why I'm just slightly adjusting that because those are the planes that I referenced uh, this whole week. 
when I was doing this thing. You guys remember this little mannequin guy? So this is what I'm referencing. The planes here of his face. I'm trying to make sure. And this all needs to be darker anyway because he has a beard. But even still, it's just the skin. Yeah, this is a lot harder than just blending it all together, you know. <clears throat> Later Triforce hero. We lost our hero. Who's going to be the new hero? Yeah, good, good point, Emerge. Good point. I'll try. Yeah, let's, let's, let's regroup. Let's regroup, reconfigure. Let's do the big stuff here, right? Big shapes, medium shapes. Definitely right. Okay, because I still have a lot of, a lot of other shapes to do. But I know one thing I want to do real quick. I just want to. Hopefully that that will darken. Just want to darken that ear a little bit one part of the ear. Bloop. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. Need to work with these shadows. Maybe the hair too. Let's get the hair in there. That needs to be in some mid-tones in the hair a bit. Yeah, I'm not very, I'm not very, I haven't done much gouache, to be honest. I'm not very uh, confident or good with gouache, to be honest. That's why I'm doing this, because I'm just, I'm just practicing, you know, I'm just, especially with this hard edge stuff that I'm trying to do. It's like, why did I do this? Why do I do this to myself? Why did I make it hard? Why did I, like, have to give myself a challenge? <laughs> uh, it's like, did I really need a challenge? I guess so. Uh, I could have just had a nice, relaxing Friday evening. Just did a regular old portrait. Oh no. My brain says, nope. Don't do that. Brain's like, don't be weak. Challenge yourself, bro. Do something. Make it different. We already did a portrait yesterday. Try something new. So here I am. Thanks, brain. Greatly appreciated, not. Come on, why does this not mix darker? It just mixed darker colors into it and then it just lightened up. No, I don't think the eyes, I'm not even looking at the eyes to be honest. Maybe they're throwing you off. Don't be projecting bro. I'm just kidding Jason. <laughs> Jason was born, I like that, I like that. <laughs> oh, that's nice, that's cool. No, I'm not on Twitch yet. Yeah, his lips, his lips definitely need some work. There's a lot of, there's a lot that needs to be done on this. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to finish this thing. How long is this thing gonna take me?
Should have put these darker shades on first. Gosh darn it. Well, I'm learning. Dark to light. Should have done dark to light. Can't even see this side of his head. Mm. Yeah, watercolor is much more fun, to be honest. At least with what I'm doing right now. This is like too challenging. Yeah, I do like being loose. I mean, I consider what I did yesterday. I mean, it could be much looser, but it's still pretty loose. I mean, the eyes are like, you know, <laughs> not, there's not a whole lot of detail, really. You know, this is pretty subtle everything's pretty subtle like i guess subtlety is what i i like i guess even though this doesn't look very subtle um all right i think i need i need some more di i think we need some shadow on the what should i do what should i do now let's do let's find all the darker stuff that needs to be dark Shadowing here. I need to I need to put the beard on. Give him a beard. And that'll help me figure out the the real shadow value. So let's do the beard. Cause it's pretty much it's really dark. It's pretty dark. It's a pretty dark color. Dark and warm. And this will just help overall to separate jaw from everything else. God, I so bad, I just want to get some texture in that beard because it would really, oh, it would look nice, but let's try to keep it. Hard edged, hard edged. Okay, slightly lighten it. Or a lot. <laughs> Didn't want to lighten it that much. Yeah, this challenge is also making me very disciplined because I have to... to do everything a certain way, you know? It's good to try it sometimes, just to see what I'm capable of if I make myself do something. Warmer, warmer, warmer. It's so easy to get cooler in these gouache mixtures. I'm finding.
Oh, dude, I use one brush for like almost everything. All the watercolors I do, everything I do. I like use, I always use one brush. I don't really have, to be honest, I don't really have another smaller brush. I was going to start using this one, um, but I'm still doing pretty big shapes. Not that big a deal. Um, yeah, I'm a one brush maniac, man. I, I do everything with one brush. Yeah, I've checked out, I've seen James Gurney's work. He's pretty good with gouache. He does very detailed stuff. I can't do that much detail. It drives me nuts. Um, but, yeah. I love using one brush, man. I can't help it. I'm sorry. It drives me crazy to use multiple brushes. So, if I had a second one of these, that'd actually be really helpful because I would just keep one for one mixture, one for another mixture, but it's okay. I don't, let, let me see, let me see what else I have. I'll try to, I got, it's got to be a flat brush though. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, they're all the same size. I don't really have many small brushes. And they're all long handle. That's the problem. Well, this one's long handle too. See, the only other ones I have are bigger. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'll have to drive you crazy. <laughs> you gotta deal with it, I guess. Okay, I want to... Try, this portrait is driving me crazy. That's what's driving me crazy. Let's see if this is the right... What's that gonna dry to? Because it's too dark right there. Should be a, it's a subtle shadow, not a... Not a very harsh shadow that I have like that. And then this plus the beard mixture. Okay, hmm, I feel better about that part now. Uh, it seems a little more softer. Um, you know, I probably have to do the same thing up here, to be honest. Um, just to make that transition a bit smoother. Man, so this is this will be so much easier in like oil painting where it doesn't really dry dark or anything. It's hard to predict. Like, man, how is that gonna dry? You know, when you put it down, it could look perfect, and then you know it's gonna dry darker. So when you put it down, you got to make sure it doesn't look right. <laughs> when you put it down, you got to make sure it's not right. You know, so it's like counterintuitive. It sucks. Um, all right, I'll use the small brush. For something. I feel like I have to fix the lips or something. Like I feel like this whole thing needs to be fixed. This is going to this is a disaster of a painting. Hopefully I can keep How long have I been doing this? Hour and 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. Let's uh let's keep going. Keep going. We got this. We got this. I'm working hard today, man. Working hard today on a Friday. See, I don't, it's not even like I have patience for one brush. It's that my brain, I don't even think about using other brushes. I've done so many plain air paintings this size with one brush. Like I've literally done like 80, 90, 100 paintings like this with one brush that it's just my default mode. It's like, I don't even, it's not like I have patience or anything. I just get, I, I try to figure out every way that I can use that brush and I try to do everything I can to use it. I, I want to get as much as I can out of that one brush. So I think that's how I, I think about it. It's not like, 
I'm not consciously thinking about it because like sometimes I'll I'll do a painting and I'll be like afterwards I'll be like man I probably could have used a different brush and probably would have gotten better if I'd used a smaller brush or something at one point but it's something I just forget I just I don't even think about it um, so yeah it's kind of unfortunate sometimes but a lot of the times it doesn't really matter a lot of the times I just I use one brush and it works Yeah, of course. Yeah, this is personal preference. Just it's how my brain is, you know. It's just I try to do everything with one tool. Without, I, but I don't consciously think about it. It just happens. I can't really explain it. it it's literally like I just forget that other tools are out there. <laughs> like. Trying to fix the shapes of the lip here. He still needs a mustache, of course. Which maybe I'll try to put in now, I guess, or let's just continue on the lips, I guess. They're pretty light. I end up getting pretty light here, so let's see if I can make this work. So the bottom lip is Fairly light, but also saturated, so how do you do that? Yeah, so this is probably one of the stupidest challenges I've tried to put myself through. Use only hard edges. Great, that'll be fun. That'll be loads of fun. I can't wait. Just can't wait to try that. <clears throat> Moron. <clears throat> and let's do it with gouache that I haven't used in like a year. Yeah, that'll be fun. Said no one. Said me for some, for no reason. Yeah, maybe the eyes need to. I'll work on the eyes next, probably. The hair's a little stupid looking now. It got it dried so much cooler. That's the problem, man. The gouache, it just dries so much cooler. What did I just mix up? I don't even remember what I was trying to do. Okay, mustache, I think. Probably needs to be a slightly darker, I imagine. Um, <laughs> uh, really, the hair shapes are good? I don't know. I mean, I guess. I think they need highlights and stuff, obviously, but... Hard edges, hard edges. Okay, let's do this differently. Let's paint it like this. Boom. Okay. And 
think it much, gets much darker. It tries to anyway. Okay, let's see if that's darker. Yep, it is. Okay, the drawing is definitely off a little bit. Uh, I realize that now. <laughs> it's hard to keep when you paint, paint and repaint and paint over it, and literally lost all the drawing. Uh, but you know that's the challenge of painting: is that you have to be good at drawing, or somewhat good. Especially if you do opaque stuff like this, it's ridiculously challenging. Because now I gotta fix the uh, stupid skin around this mustache. Right there. Just to fix that a little bit. It seems a little better. Um, Stupid. Okay, let's get rid of that. Or try to get rid of it. Okay. Yeah, I think the real problem is this. I gotta fix that. That's that's bothering me so much. Um, yeah, that is really bothering me. This whole side of his face is like really off. It's too dark. Only his nose, the side of his nose is that really that dark, so. Um, and like around the eyes. The one part of it, the front face of his cheek is a lot lighter, so. That's what I need to get in, because otherwise he looks just flat rather than having cheeks and stuff. Like, doesn't it look like he has any structure there? value does that need to be? I don't know, because it's going to dry darker, so it's all guesswork here. That might be too dark, maybe not. Let's warm it up. Let's see, Let's see what this does. Probably gonna, if it looks too light, then that's probably good. So Oh man, didn't mean to do that. Oh well, I'll use dark, I'll use dark line to denote the nostril. Pink, pink it up, we need more warmth. There we go. I know it looks too light right now, but I think it'll dry darker, hopefully. Confident strokes, confident strokes, boom. He also has more warmth, more warmth around his other eye over here. I don't know if it's that light, but we're going to find out pretty soon. Uh, is that drying dark the way I want? Oh, not yet. Oh, oh, this is a disaster. Okay. Man, this is so difficult. This is like 
probably the, one of the most difficult things I've ever tried to do. Oh. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, okay. Mm. Maybe some of this is slightly lighter. Why not? We'll put it out there, we'll see. See what we can make out of that. Hard to get my brush to be splayed out the way I want it. Okay, we definitely need some darker transition tones. So many transition tones. Ah, come on. A second brush. Yeah, I know. Soon, soon. Probably right now is when I would need that second brush that I'm not using. I don't know why. Why am I not using it? I don't know. Because I already have paint in the one I'm using.
Jun Song, beautiful symbols. I wish I knew what they meant. Thanks, Lee. I appreciate it. I hope you have time to draw and paint this weekend too. Hope it goes well. Take care, man. Appreciate it. Okay. The eyes. What do we do here? Okay, I think I know what's missing on the eyes. Finally looking. Finally figured it out. I think I know. I think we need. I think we need some. It's the eyelashes. I don't mean individual eyelashes. I just mean a dark line on the top lid for them. Same thing over here. And Okay, too dark under here. I think it just needs to be warmed up. Because too dark underneath the, the eyelids makes it just look like it's inset too, too deep. Don't know if I really changed the value there at all. Maybe I did. thing over here this is needs like some transition or something coming together but it's not there yet this this one this one's really killing me today a lot of work a lot of work I need that other nostril in there. That's what I need too, because I kind of lost it earlier. And now it's nowhere to be found. So we need to find it. You know what I mean? We got one nostril there, the other nostril. I don't even know where it would be. Right here. Right there. 
And then there is a line, a warm line. Everything is warm. Gotta keep remembering that. Warm, warm, warm. Not that dark though, not that dark. But still dark, just not that dark. There's a line right here for this nostril. Can we see that? Not really, okay, it needs to be darker. Should have kept it dark. There we go. And then underneath. Underneath here. And around like that. Kind of. Sort of. Looks a little weird. There we go. Something like that. Boy, why did I do I'm never doing this again. I will never do this again. Next time, I'll just do something easy. Because usually when you think something's easy, it's going to be harder. So if I do something hard, it's going to be really hard. So why did I do that? I'm never doing this again. I don't know. I don't know what my goal is. I don't have a goal. My goal is to be done with this thing. That's my goal. <clears throat> That's my goal. <laughs> my goal is just complain about something that was my idea. In the first place. Because, I don't know. Too dark. Let's... <laughs> yeah, it does supersede the pups with the difficulty, I believe. I think so. I think I have a winner here for. Don't soften, don't soften, don't do it. Okay. It's cheating. Softening is cheating. All you cheaters out there blending every day. <laughs> okay, I need to, I need, I need, I need this, this nostril. We need, we need that. How about that? Oh man, that sucks. Sorry to hear about that, uh, Elias. That's a bummer. Well, hopefully uh, you don't stay where you are. That's hopefully what, hopefully the fires don't go your way anymore. Which is, uh, yeah, I don't know about that, but uh, not sure where you were located exactly, but yeah, hopefully you don't stay if they do come. That's one thing to do. But yeah, man, I hope everything goes well, for sure. I'm in California as well, but I'm lucky enough to where where I'm at is not, you know, not too close to nature or anything, so. What's going on, Sarah? Thanks for tuning in. Use an uplift on his lips. Yeah, I don't really know what to do. I think the bottom, I think I need to darken some, yeah, there's some stuff that needs to be done still. I just don't want to do it. So Sarah, you're just now tuning in. My um, my objective that I gave myself for this for some dumb reason is uh, to paint with only hard edges. No softening, no blending, no softening. Everything hard edged. So 
So that's literally what I'm trying to do. All right, bold strokes, bold strokes, keep it bold. I think I just, you know, there's always a point in the painting where a lot of times where uh, things, I mean, this one's going okay, but sometimes things aren't going your way and stuff. And usually one way to fix it is just start getting like real bold with stuff. I'm not saying that's what I'm gonna do now, but you know, I don't know. Just sometimes you just have to kind of like loosen up, be a little more bold, and like really just try to angle of his jaw are very square. Yeah, I agree. I'll fix that right now. I will fix that right now. Yeah, I get what you're saying, because these lines, it's all hard edge, it's all straight lines, so. He looks like a cartoon character because of that. But let's try to, let's, how can we fix that? So on this one side. Bring more of his coat in there. And then on this side, we're going to bring more of that lighter grayish brown. Now I'm just like fixing whatever you guys point out because. <laughs> uh, okay, is it the same color? Kind of is, but we don't want that because it's going to dry darker. So we want it a little lighter. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see if we can. Kind of round that a bit. Does that help at all? Yeah. And one thing I can do underneath the jawline, there's one part that's bugging me. So like his hair right under here can be, actually could be a little bit darker than what I just mixed up. I want to try to transition some of that. Using only hard edges. But I want to give the illusion of softness. Well, glad you guys are, uh, yeah, glad you guys are sticking in, sticking this out with me. You know, it's very, very difficult. I think this still needs to be softened. Well, let's see, what's the, what's a big thing that needs to be worked on? Um, the lips, this edge here, this line is eyebrows. Eyebrows need to be softened, right? Yeah, this is, I'm an hour and 45 minutes in right now, so not bad, I guess, right? Not bad. So definitely his eyebrows. So let's, let's do his eyebrows. That's something I haven't touched at all. So definitely need to touch those up, you know, give him a little, you know, we got to do his brows up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do is just paint like a transition between the skin tone and the eyebrow tone. So what I'm hoping that's going to do is just soften the edge visually. You know, that's the goal, what I'm trying to do. Visually soften edges. And I can go even darker in some areas. Maybe even darker in some areas. Let's give another transitional tone. And now they're hopefully a little bit smoother looking. Release that one. 
And something I can do even further is so put a transitional tone on. Now I need a tone between this and this and paint that all down here to soften that. But I think we still need transitional tone there. It's a little too much, right? So, all hard edges there. If you guys look at that. All hard edges there. Boom, boom, boom. It's all little transitional lines. So that's what I've been trying to do this whole time. I didn't realize it was going to be this difficult, but uh Yeah, the eyes are too wide. I did notice that. Highlight on nose needs to be straightened. Well, I don't know about that. What what part of the nose? Oh, right here maybe. Cuz if you look look at the reference close up, he has like it's much not as straight as you think. Um so maybe mine actually just needs to be bent out outward a bit more, to be honest. Eyes stretch too close to nose. Yep, I agree. More transitional tones needed. Like right here. Like that. Um, yeah, the eyes are too wide. I agree. Especially now with the eyebrows where they are. Definitely agree with that. But uh, yeah, not too bad for losing all the drawing and stuff and having to deal with this, you know, the whole time. Not too bad. Just doing my best to keep up some of this. Let's see, where does it bend out at right here? Straighten that a bit. There we go. Maybe that's a bit better now. More more like the reference. I really the big thing is this tone on his face, I think. Um and then maybe his chin down here. So if I can get if I can get a tone that transitions. The white and the black dry very chalky and quickly. So let's see, is that a, maybe a bit warmer? Thanks for the uh, feedback there, Tim. I appreciate it. And that's funny to hear, A. Hey, Emmy. Uh. Do we need a highlight there and a highlight here on the eyelid? It's too straight. Okay, let's try this transitional tone. Let's see if this transitions actually. And I can actually use it down here too, might as well. You know, if I can use it somewhere else, might as well try to use it. So that works really well down on the chin. Darker, a little warmer now. Yeah, see that transition looks real nice now. More smooth. We got some weird light right there on his face, so I'm gonna fix that. Um, 
try to fix that anyway. Let's see. I think it just needs to be just slightly darkened. Just knock it down a little bit. And let's get rid of this eye, eyelash there. Just out way too far. As Tim had said. And now I need to adjust the pupil. Let's see if that'll... Hopefully this will still look good. You know, I'm, I'm kind of going out on a limb here just trying to fix some things that... I don't know if it's going to fix it or not. Oh, darker, 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 grayer. Might make his eye look a little weird or something. Yeah, looks weird now. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. Just not done, not done. Don't judge it. Trying, folks. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Definitely trying here. Yep, working on it, working on it. What does it feel like using gouache? Does it feel like watercolor, acrylic? It's kind of a, it's kind of like using thick watercolor. Yeah, too much white in both. I see what you're saying. More towards the corners and stuff, especially on this one. Should be more shadowing. Definitely more shadowing there. Um, boy. I don't know why you guys made me paint something like this. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Obviously, I'm kidding. Oh boy. Yeah, that shape is still wrong. This shape here. Bloop. Maybe that's better. Slightly. I think his poop pupil pupil shape is off slightly. Okay, let me back up a bit. Wow. It actually looks pretty good from far away, to be honest. <laughs> I'm surprised, actually. The only thing that really sticks out to me is this kind of warm shape there. It's like way too... I feel like I, feel like I need that warmth down the whole nose if I'm going to have it that warm up there. So I might try to add some warmth back in on the nose that needs to be there. If I can do that right. 
try it, we'll try it, why not? Let's see. Okay, it's pretty similar. So, there is some warmth I can see on his nose. So I do want to, if I can add that, I do want to try. Because it'll really help give more warmth to the light, hopefully. Like to the effect of the light. Especially, especially, this is what I really need. I need warmth around like the nostrils, like a dark, warm. Like right under here. You guys can barely see that. I guess I can zoom it in for you guys, huh? Could be a little courteous, Brandon. Zoom it in, these folks. I need another transition tone on that warmth there, but that's okay. Uh, darker, darker. But still warm, if possible. Yeah, not too much, but better than nothing, better than nothing. Yeah, this has come a long way, actually. I thought in the very beginning I wasn't giving up, and then partway through I was like, okay, I'm giving up. And now I'm like, okay, I just got to keep going. Stick with this thing, stick with it. You know, I don't want it to be super detailed or anything, because it, obviously, <laughs> obviously it's not going to be super detailed. But, you know, I just want to make sure, like, when I stand back, that I'm getting what needs to be done when I step back from it. Because that's what really matters. Wrong color. Oh well. Darken that again. So far, the jawline is throwing the face off for me. Wider chin. Okay, I see what you're saying. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, Lane. Uh, here, I'll show you guys far away real quick, just on my webcam, just so you guys see the full effect of what happens when it's like a little bit further, you know? Getting somewhere. I mean, this camera's horrible. The lighting's like not that great. But yeah, but you know, it's hard. It's it's hard to get the impact when you see. If you look down, look at it right there in the corner. You get more of an impact of it. You know when you're seeing it down there. And now I can. When you see it smaller, then you can. You get the idea of what needs to be done to it, for the most part. Or at least I do. I get the idea of what it needs. Oh, guys, I gotta get off here soon. This is taking way too long. Yeah, I need to soften those smooth tones though. They're a little, a little too harsh. A little too harsh with uh, what's going on there in the shadow. So, oh boy, my stomach is starting to growl too. Okay. Maybe a little bit lighter.
transition a little bit more up here as well. Yeah, the colors, man, the colors are so more, much more vibrant than the real one, the real painting. No, I'm not doing this for another day. No way. I'm done with this thing. <laughs> I'm not doing this thing again. I don't want to see this thing. After today, I'm going to shred this thing. Go burn it. <laughs> uh, get this thing out of here. Was this you when you were younger? No. It kind of looks like it. <laughs> the painting does, but no. Was not. with this thing man I'm done I'm over it okay this needs to be softened up there the uh, hairline everything needs to be softened wouldn't it be fun if I just started softening all the edges now and didn't follow my uh, hard line thing. Wouldn't that be ridiculous? I'm not gonna do it, but it's funny to think about. For me, anyway. Transitions, transitions, here we go. I like it, I like it. Good night to all the youngsters out there who's past their bedtime. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I don't know if I'm actually done. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm mentally done with this thing, but I don't know if I'm actually done. <laughs> yeah, dry brush finish, exactly. Exactly. Let's zoom this thing out again, let's see. I mean, it's definitely come a long way. I mean, there's a million things I could keep doing to this thing. I just don't know if I want to do all the million things I could keep doing to this thing. Aren't you guys sick and tired of paint, seeing me paint this thing by now? Aren't you guys done? Don't you want to, don't you want to go do something else yet? Just wondering, just curious. Can the top outer lid on the left drop down a bit? Top outer lid on the left over here. Yeah, you're right. It needs, there's something weird there. Um, thank you, Mary, for pointing that out. I agree. Definitely agree. 
Maybe if something like that a bit more. I gotta be careful here because I don't want the eye to go out too far. <clears throat> That's the problem I had earlier. I think the problem is, is that the lower lid isn't coming up the way it should, like this. There. And I think the I think the nose is just too low. I think some things are too low. Some things are off, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I mean obviously the drawing's off a bit. It's just how it is for this. Uh, my exercise was, you know, focusing on hard edges, so I think I did pretty well for uh wanting to give up about an hour ago. Uh, or wanting to be done with this thing about an hour ago. Didn't really want to do a two hour stream, but here I am, two hours in. I think that needed a transition. That looks a bit better now. <clears throat> I think we need some other transitions over here, possibly. Around this light area. Yeah, exactly, Tim. It's always the case, right? You know? It's so much, it's always so much easier to point out, like, uh, mistakes in other people's work, you know? Like critiquing and like when you're sitting there watching. You can just see everything wrong with it. Which is good. I mean, it's good to recognize that you see, you can see things that are off. And, uh, but yeah, when you're when you're in it trying to solve the problems yourself, it's always a little bit harder for some reason. Or more of a challenge, more struggle. You know? Oh man, why did I do that? Thank you, Adam, for becoming a supporter. Appreciate it. At least something good came out of the struggle tonight. Uh, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So, okay, let's take a very quick break, and I just want to let everybody know about my website, Shaver Fine Art. I've got some uh, drawings like these ones you see here for sale, and also some paintings like these, uh, better than the one I'm painting right now, of course, on my website, shaverfineart.com. And I've got a page to support me, you can PayPal, Venmo, Patreon, Bandcamp, all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, I wouldn't necessarily call myself vegan. I don't really follow it strictly. I don't really like the term vegan. I would call myself plant-based nowadays. Plant-based. Every once in a while I will eat some non-vegan stuff. Some meat. Very, very rare though. Only fish. But yeah. Uh, no problem, guys. Glad you, glad you guys have been enjoying this one. Um, let's kill some of this light here. There we go. Um, yeah. His lips are kind of like bloop going downward, but oh, buddy, I think uh, I think I'm just about gonna call this one done because I'm pretty happy with a lot of the transitions on the face that I was able to get so I'm actually pretty okay with what I've done uh, no worries no worries it's all good I don't up update everybody on what I'm eating you know what I'm saying <laughs> but uh, I just try to eat healthy, you know, fruits, vegetables, stuff like that mostly. 
That's what I try to do. I'm most mostly vegetarian, basically. You know, I don't eat cheese. I don't like to eat cheese or milk or dairy. Um, stuff like that, but it's all good. Just vegan has like a very negative connotation nowadays. Like, I don't care what other people do, you know? Is there anything else? Any very last minute? Anybody have any questions last minute or anything or something else? But I gotta get off here. This is way too long of a stream. No one's gonna watch this anyway or rewatch it. But uh, let's at least we could take the tape off at least and see what's what we got going on. His hair is kind of sharp. I'm noticing, so I could like try to have some kind of transition tone up there, maybe, but that's pretty difficult, uh, it seems. Okay, let's just take the tape off. Oh, I could do some of his coat, right? I mean. Wouldn't that show a little bit more light in the scene? Real quick. I'll do it very quickly. Cause like I said, I don't want to do this much longer. Or I'm gonna like pass out. Starting to like feel weak, like shaking. Trying not to do dry brushing, but it's happening. It's happening a little bit. Still trying to keep the edges hard though. We'll just... I feel like it just needed, just need a little something down there. I don't want to dry brush it, man. It goes against what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to do all hard edges tonight. Hard edges, no texture, no, you know, just focusing on color, transitions, value. Dry brushing right now would be cheating. And I don't want, not a cheater. Don't want to cheat. All right, well, looks pretty good to me. Okay, um, that's about it. Just add a little more dimension down there, I guess, you know, something, a little, a little, a little something down there. Um, maybe I'll lighten this one up a bit more and then that a bit more. Try to give the illusion of some texture or something. Okay. Boom, I like that. I like that. Okay. There's always one more thing I think I can do. There's always like one more. Oh, one more thing. One more thing here. Darken this. Transition that. One more thing. Okay. Tape off, take the tape off. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, don't rip the paper, come on. Come on, artist tape. Be kind to me. Come on, paper.
Oh, how much do I want for it? You mean you're gonna buy it? Is that what you want? Or are you just kidding? Oh. There we go. Only a tiny little grip on the paper. Not too bad though. Oh boy. Wow. That was intense. So check it out down in the bottom. All right, let's change to the webcam. There we go. There he is. Oh boy. <sighs> well, one more thing. There's one more thing. There's actually the gray of the paper right there on his eye. I gotta fix that. It's not supposed to be that light right there. Um, supposed to be darker, a little bit darker. Uh, well, normally paintings that I do, these watercolors, these gouache paintings, I sell for uh, $65 plus shipping and handling, which is like nine bucks. So I think 74 bucks in all. Uh, if you're if you're U.S. at least, I'm not sure where you're based in. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I might put it up on my website. But if you really are interested and you want it, then I'll give you a private link to buy it or whatever. But no pressure, you know. Just let me know. You can send me an email or whatever. <clears throat> Transition tone here. And uh, I kind of pulled it off. I mean, it got it got way closer than I thought it ever would, to be honest. Um, where do you go to actually buy it from you? Uh, I have a, I'll put it up on the website. Um, but like I said, if you really want to buy it, then I'll give you a a private link. That way nobody else will scoop it up. You know, I don't think many people will. Anyway, but you never know. Um, so I can like email you a link or whatever. But if you're really interested, just send me an email. Send me an email. That'll be the best way to go about it, I think. But I'm about to finish it up right now. I just wanna, just trying to make sure I'm covering all my bases here. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better now. Uh, you know, I don't know that I captured his likeness like perfectly. I think some things are a little sagging down, drooping down a bit, but um, anyway. Yeah, just go to my website, uh, Lane, and my email's on there. There's a, I have a contact form on there. That's the easiest way, just send me some through the contact form on there and I think you have to type in your email on there so I'll be able to email you back. So yeah, just let me know if you're really interested. If not, then it's all good, no worries. I'm not gonna like chase you down and force you to buy it or anything, just. Whew. All right, I feel pretty good about that. I feel pretty good about this effort, so um, anyway. See beard properly in picture. I'm not worried about the beard, dude. I guess there's what? There's a small patch of beard under his chin. Um, right now I'm, I'm trying not to pass out because I'm really hungry. I don't really care about his, what this dude's beard looks like. I'm not painting it for the guy. It's not like I'm gonna give it to him. Hand so shaky, I can't even paint it on there. Okay, there. Is that better? Better, I guess. Somewhat better. I 
All right. Mm. There we go. That's better. Now it looks like. All right, guys. Well, I'm done. I'm done. This hair looks kind of dumb. I'm done. That was crazy. That was one of the craziest things I've ever done. I'm never doing that again. So this is definitely one of a kind painting. <laughs> Uh, let's see if I can take out this sketchbook without destroying it. It's one of those glue, glue pads. There we go. Boom. Just have to clean off the glue up there. Bam. There we go. All right. Thanks for uh, staying tuned, everybody. I don't know how many people are left. 40 people or something. Cool. Greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'll just sign this thing later but uh yeah, i'm gonna get off here and eat something before i fall over and uh pass out anyway folks thanks for the support as always be sure to check out my website like i said got all this kind of stuff on there you guys know it you guys seen it before music all kinds of stuff. Check it out. Thanks. Appreciate it. Anyway, um, Triforce Hero. Glad you came back. There it is. It probably looks way different, hopefully. Hopefully better, anyway. But, um, yeah. Change the camera. Yep, have a great night, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one. Here it is. Boom. There it is. There he is. Boom. Looks pretty good. Far away, actually, like three feet away. It looks pretty good. Anyway, take care, everyone. Peace.